This is a story that we've been working on for a few months now. Who owns Speedway Boulevard? It's the road that connects Highway 35 to Highway 1039. It all started February 9, 2010, when GC Video News received several calls about a county salt truck plowing a private drive across from the Sparta BP. When our cameras arrived to the scene, we spotted the salt truck and we began filming. No. Got a quick question. Well, I got county equipment out here scraping a private road. I told you. I heard we told you. Joe Schinkel, a Gallatin County Magistrate, said at February's fiscal court meeting that he saw the salt truck plowing out there and he asked Kenny French if it was a private road. And I saw our county truck pushing snow on Speedway Boulevard. That's correct. Been that private road? No, so it's kind of. When did we take it in? It was taken in before we got in the office. Um, I don't know the exact date, that was say six or eight years ago. It's before we got in the office. No, kid. Uh huh. Yeah. And we got a deed to it. Actually, we looked at it just to verify it because it's added on for mileage purposes. Yeah, we, we've actually went and uh, drove it and got the miles because it's uh, one, I, I'm claiming it as uh, four times the length plus two gravel rings because when they, they're not really shoulders, people drive on it. So uh, that's added into our county system. You heard it right there. Kenny French stated that the previous administration is the one who took that road in. So we asked former magistrates Tommy Ellis and Kenny McFarlane, and they both said that they never voted that road in. And Tommy Ellis said it would have been political suicide to do so. So you're probably wondering what the problem is. Well, here we go. If in fact the county does own this road, your tax dollars will be used to fix and repave it, which will cost over a million dollars. Yet no one lives on this road. When there are several roads, such as Timberline Road, which has 13 families living on it, it keeps being denied to become a county road. Does this make sense? It doesn't to me. No, I'm talking about that one in particular, Kenny, because it don't amount to anything. Nobody lives on it. I mean, I, I mean, I'm just, if, if we take, if it was taken over before we got here, I'm just what I'm saying. If we, I'm not trying to be smart. I'm just saying, if we have to resurface that thing, it's going to cost a chunk. It's expensive, man. After February's fiscal court meeting, Magistrate Joe Schinkel went and did some research trying to find proof that we own Speedway Boulevard, and he brought that up in the March meeting. Yes. Could you show I had dug and dug and dug? Yeah, right there. Deep book 85? Okay. Now, this was 2001. Flip the back of that. I couldn't find where the court had voted on it. I wasn't there in 2001. That's a deed to the property. I would think if we, owned, if we had a deed to the property that we would own the road. Did you catch that? Kenny French just said that we had a deed to the property, so he would assume that we own the road, right? Well, listen to what he says in April's meeting when Sheriff Nelson Brown asked if the other road that goes around the speedway is the county's also. If the court votes to take that road in, do they have to take the other road in too that goes around through there? No. Speedway? No. Well, who does that belong to? That belongs to the speedway. Well, that doesn't make sense to me. Kenny French says that the county has a deed to the property, so we must own Speedway Boulevard. So why is it that we don't own all the other roads on the property? Well, we have a deed where the, where the court is, uh, I don't think we have a copy of it tonight, but we do have it. Uh, I think where, they, where the court uh, accept, signed the deed to accept real estate, I assume the road went with it. I know that in our, in that part of the county, that it's a tremendous asset. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not arguing that at all, yeah. you know, but uh, I, I just do know the road is rough or whatever, and I think we'd have to black or whatever, it'd be quite expensive to us. Well, it would be something we would do like all of our other roads, we'd get the pieces, and if, with the more mileage we got in the roads, the more mileage we have on the plan, the more money we can, we can access from front. I've checked into it what it would cost to read blacktop that. Mm -hmm. It would take over two years of our road department funds to blacktop that. Well, like I said, Doug, we would never blacktop it at one time unless the state would come up with the money to buy it. Kenny, I looked at that paper that you gave me, I think. Mm -hmm. 
It looked, it looked to me almost like that George had signed an agreement for the easement, but to, I can't find anywhere where the fiscal court would take the road in. Okay. And that's a whole back I've got on. My question is, could George sign that without the approval of the fiscal court? I can't, I, I don't know. Don't, I'm really less than I can. Because I've talked to several former fiscal court members, and they said they never voted to accept that in. I couldn't find anything where the fiscal court had voted on. It all, all looked to me like he had signed an agreement for the easement for the road, but nothing ever from that point on to where the road had been voted in and taken into county infrastructure. I've done a lot of research on this story, and I can tell you one thing. The county did not own the road next to the speedway called Kentucky Speedway Boulevard. Do you want to know why I said did? It's because of this right here. Well, it was mostly on the floor to accept these as the county roads. And is there any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. Motion passed. It's because of that right there. Jeff Wallace, Eric Moore, and Kenny French just voted that road in. To prove my point, if the county already owned the road back in 2001, how come the fiscal court had to vote the road in in April 12, 2010? After hours and hours of research on this story, I feel comfortable saying this. I will give the first person $100 if they can prove that the county owned Kentucky Speedway Boulevard before April 12, 2010. And if I am proven wrong, I will update this story and let everyone know that I was wrong. I'm John Kane for GC Video News.